Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a love reading for the Zodiac sign of Aquarius. So let's see what's going on. For my collective. Okay, so let's see. Let me make sure this is right here. So what's going on for Aquarius Spirit Guides of Love Night and Touch Their Masters Major Prime Light? What do I need to know? So we have here the Eight of Cups. So you could be connected to a Pisces. You're walking away from a situation, okay, because it's not serving you anymore. It's not benefiting you in any kind of way. Or somebody could do all the work from you. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. So it could be seeing 888. We have Two of Swords here. Yeah, I'm seeing here. It's like ever since you walked away from a situation, it's like you've just been having time to work on your business, your career, yourself. Okay, that's just been your main focus right now. Some of you guys could be like construction workers. Okay, we have the Two of Swords here. Um, So I'm seeing here that it's like... You walked away from this person because it's like they didn't want to make a decision. Somebody was in denial here. Okay. And it's like he wasn't finna wait for this person to choose you. You know, it's like you also had shit that you needed to heal. You know, it's like somebody here could have been a competition with you or a pick me, you know. And we have here the five of wands. Yeah, see, somebody was most definitely a competition with you with the five of wands here. Okay. Very ambitious on um you know succeeding at something here or keeping somebody stuck okay this person could have been gossiping about you because of a nigga like jesus we have here the knight of pentacles and we have here the emperor in reverse yeah somebody here was a control freak trying to control the whole situation Okay, it's like they didn't want this person to commit to you. Okay, so they did everything that they needed to do to, you know, keep this person with them. Okay, Nine of Cups here. It's like this person was only was able to be in and out with you because it's like they had to show attention and affection to another situation, you know. It's like whoever this was that was trying to keep this person behind Okay, they could have been trying to slow this person's business down. This person had their own business. Okay, trying to ruin um, whatever they created for themselves because they didn't want this person coming to see you at all. It's like it's another um, person that knew about you that was dealing with somebody that you was dealing with, you know? What else? And it's like this person was jealous as hell, let me tell you. Ace of Cups, yeah, they knew about this love that you guys have for each other. They probably knew that this person had, you know, more love for you than them. That's what they felt like, okay? Because they either felt like this person was out too much and they felt like this person was with you, okay? And that could have been the case. And I'm seeing here, it's like, this person could have been, like, emotionally manipulative, crying to this person, telling this person, like, you know, we've been together for a long time. Like, it's time for us to, you know, get married. And we have the seven of wands to be very, see, I'm seeing here that they were dealing with somebody here that didn't have boundaries. And this person didn't have boundaries, okay? They um could have had this karmic here trying to show them love and attention, affection, playing dates and stuff, okay, to, you know, confuse this person about who you was, okay? Mm-hmm. It's like they want to keep this person act about 24-7, okay? Mm -hmm. We have fear source here, yeah. Somebody here was pissed off. They was angry, upset, heartbroken here. Because whatever they tried to do, it's like it didn't work. Yeah, Six of Pentacles here. So it's like they starting to use this person for their money. Okay, they want this person to keep giving to them because they're like, oh, okay, so you you gonna betray me for this person? Now I'm finna start using you. Okay, forgive me trying to show you love, attention, and affection because that's not working apparently. So let me just keep asking you for shit. You know? Yeah, and it's like this person was giving, too giving to this person that was trying to cause them to feel this way yelling and shit acting stupid and delusional we have the ten of cups here they could have had a family with this person 
and we have the five of swords yeah they could have got married to this person okay but it's like they always was stressed out they was unhappy there okay this person was playing mind games here i just heard somebody here was always yelling in this person's ear you see how this bird in this person's ear they and this dude just like huh like just get the fuck on like hung like go somewhere okay but it's like this person loved their kids, so it's like they want to stay there. And it's like this person was acting fake happy, you know, like they were so in love, either in front of their the, um, the karmic family or friends or their family and friends. Okay. But you knew that this person was going through it. Like you seen behind the illusion. Yeah, this person was in most definitely some type of illusion. This person could see he was like very mysterious. Okay. Mysterious, I mean. We have here the world card in reverse. Yeah, it was a cycle not over here. Okay, this person still need to learn some lessons here or they're not seeing the truth about this karmic. Or it's like they don't want things to be over with you guys, you know? It's like they're trying to keep this person a secret. You know, they don't want you to know about this person. But for some of you guys, y'all do already. And it's like it's either hard for them to get out of the situation because they've been faking it this whole time. You know, and they either feel like this person's going to, like, go crazy on them if they choose to leave them. We have the hermit here. Yeah, I'm saying you are reflecting, spending time by yourself while this person's going through this, learning their lessons. You know, yeah, dealing with this motherfucking demonic energy here. Okay, let's keep trying to pull them in. Okay, keep trying to tempt this person, you know. Yeah, keep communicating with this person with the page of wands here. Okay. Yeah. You, you are taking care of yourself. You're focusing on healing. Okay, progressing. You're doing a lot of reflection right now. Truth seeking. You know? And you understand on a deeper level what's happening in y'all connection. And, you know, why everything's happening the way that it is. Okay? And it's like you're forgiving this person. You know, the six of swords here. You have transitioned. Okay? You have moved on. You have released this person. You know? And those negative thoughts that you had about this person. This connection. Yeah, Knight of Swords. And it's like, ever since like you moved away from this person, it's like this person has been dying to communicate with you. It's like they miss you and your energy. Okay. It's like it's like no other. We have here the strength and the cherry. Yeah, this person is finding the strength to move on. Okay, they're gonna have the courage to leave this person and come communicate with you and tell you what has been going on. Okay. And it's like, they're, yeah, they're moving forward here. They're taking action here, okay? <sighs> yeah, they're not letting nothing stop them, okay? Or nobody influence them from moving forward towards you. Yeah, they're coming in towards you. Somebody here that's sexy, confident, powerful, okay? Brave, bold, ambitions, enthusiastic, okay? We have this. Queen of Cups in reverse. Didn't I say that earlier? This person is emotionally manipulative. Okay. And we have the sun here in reverse. Yeah. So this karma cure is not enlightened. Okay. They are unhealed. Okay. Negative. Pessimistic. Hopeless. Okay. And I'm seeing here, it's like they always got an attitude. This person be ugh, like... They be waking up on the wrong side of the bed and it's like they try to project their energy onto people. If they're feeling the way, they want to make somebody else feel how they feel instead of healing their shit, you know? But yeah, this person could do drugs, have a sex addiction. It's like this karma heart chakra is blocked. Okay, they haven't heard from their past here. Okay, this person is very dramatic here okay they gossip we have the king of wands here yeah this person is realizing like yeah i have to get away from this bitch okay like they are enlightened on who this person is and this this queen of cups in reverse it's like they are most definitely vibrant on the low frequency here okay this person i'm saying i just heard they can't never be sober Okay, and it's like if they have a kid, this person, this person not a good parent at all. They be too busy worrying about what this person, this masculine is doing, than themselves or the kids. Like somebody here, priorities is fucked up. 
we have here the seven of cups yeah and who this masculine is dealing with who this masculine got their eye on okay this, per this masculine could be like in a public eye well known okay yeah so they could keep some type of um marriage together here okay they really this current really feel like this masculine is their person like yeah there is some type of illusion here okay some type of fantasy world okay they keep trying to figure out ways to keep this person interested in them okay so they won't leave yeah because it's like they care about what everybody think okay they have shown this to the public like they're so happy and you know bubbly and joyful and cheerful but that's not the fucking case okay this masculine is thinking on how they're going to come in towards you the three of wands here okay y'all have distance between each other Okay, we have Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, how they could get away from this motherfucker. That's money hungry, greedy. What else? Page of Wands. Yeah, but it's like, every time I try to get away from this person, this person keeps communicating with them or texting them about either the child or, you know, trying to plan something for them to do together as a family or them together. What else? Yeah, or something pertaining to business that they either have together. The Three of Pentacles here. Yeah, and we have the lovers here. Yeah, to keep this person from you. The, the one that they're supposed to be with. The real deal. Okay. Yeah, Knight of Wands here. And they be either sending this person sexy pictures, texting this person sexually, so this person could come in towards them. And have sex with them with the Knight of Wands here. Yeah, somebody here is possessive as fuck. And we have here the devil. Yeah. They want to keep this person codependent on them. And this karmic is codependent. Okay. They don't want this person to ascend and be happy and be with you. Yeah, they want this person to feel trapped and restricted. Eight of Swords. Okay, like they can't move. Like they, they don't want this person to see the truth. They don't want this person to be gone too long from them neither, you know? Because like if this person gone too long, it's like they feel like they can't, you know, control this person, you know? So it's like when they do leave, they make sure that they text them, keep calling them something, okay? Making up excuses and shit, you know? And we have the Wheel of Fortune here. Yeah, they're trying to stop this person from this destined, something that's faded. But I'm seeing this person is going to come in, for sure. So this is what this karmic thinks he or she's doing, but it's it's not the case. Like, they think they're going to win at something, but you don't want to get good luck, good karma. Not this hoe. What else? Yeah, we have the magician here, and we have the four of swords. So I don't know if this person be trying to do some type of spells on this person or this person is asleep or something. Okay. This bitch is crazy. But I just karmic feels that they know exactly what they're doing. Like they're trying to be creative here. Okay. On how to keep this person stuck with their ass. Fair of cups and race. But this person is releasing emotional baggage they're healing. Okay. And this karmic is seeing a change. And this person, and they do not like it. So that's why they feel like they got to do the spell work and shit. Because whatever they're doing is not working. Whatever they're doing in the 3D ain't working. So now they got to go to the 5D. Mm-hmm. But it's, I'm seeing here, it's like, this person comes to bounce things out with you. Okay? It's been taking patience here. Because, you know, of course it's going to take patience. This shit not going to happen over overnight. But this person has been not being with this karmic care. They have even been having sex. We have the hierophant here. Yes, yeah, like they're trying to balance something out in this relationship that they have, this karmic here, with this mask. And it's like they're trying to be super nice, you know, like act like how they never act before. Because I'm seeing this karmic always want to start arguments, sensitive as fuck, always on defensive, defense mode. Yeah, the death. Yeah, this person is transforming and they're in this shit. With this hoe. Yeah, this this family dynamic here. Mm-hmm. They're not going back. So if you're watching Karmic, they're not going back, okay? We have the Page of Swords here. 
Yeah, and this karma could be watching you, or this master could be watching you, trying to see like what you're up to, what you've been doing. Okay. Yeah, but I find this karma is watching you. They're upset. They're burdened. They're angry as fuck. They're pissed. Okay. They're mad as hell. They got a grudge against you and this person. Yeah, because this person is coming to provide for you. The King of Pentacles here. Even though you don't need this person's money. Let's make that clear. This hoe do. And she feels like she's going to have all the responsibilities on her now. Okay, Nine of Cups here. By this person is what they were feeling. Happy as hell. What else? Yeah, and the high priest is going to rage. This person going to keep trying to do negative spiritual work. And it's like, they're going to get all this shit returned back to the sender. Okay? Mm-hmm. And you're going to be stuck looking stupid. Thinking that shit working. Thinking this person going to come back to you. But in all reality, they're not. But I hope this video gave guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!